Booleans look very simple. And we'll use the exact example that's in the icons. So to create the example, I'm going to take two squares that overlap right in the middle, just like that. Then I'll color them just so we can see the difference here. It's two, two, two. And look at this, I ran out of space. I'll select them all, scale them down, space this out a little bit, and we'll do one more. So, Booleans are some of my favorite things for icon design, especially because they help you do really advanced shapes very quickly. So, Booleans work by taking two vector objects, or more, it could be as many as you want, and Sketch is really advanced in how they let you stack these, and combine them into single objects. So here we have rectangle and rectangle. You see them in the layers palette, they're far away. I'm gonna come up to the toolbar and I'm gonna say union. And you can see it describes it for you. It combines multiple shapes into a union. So a union, now in our layers panel, it says a combined shape. This works as one shape. If you put on a border, it has this. So this might be stuff you're familiar with from Illustrator or merged layers in Photoshop. You can do multiple paths and the sort of Boolean operations there, but Sketch, it's kind of a very primary way of thinking. So Union just combines them. Next, Subtract. Subtract takes the item on the top and punches it out of the item on the bottom. So I'm gonna come up here and press Subtract and based on this, the yellow should subtract from the teal. Perfect. So now I've created a little bit of a Tetra shape here. The yellow is gone. This is a great way to carve out an advanced shape you might want. Next is intersect. You could probably guess what this is. Only the area that is shared between the two objects will survive. So I'll press intersect and I only get the square in the middle. Great. And just to show you, look at that fits perfectly <laughs> with a little maneuvering. There we go. Fits perfectly right into that previous shape, but I'll put that back where it belongs. And finally, difference. So if intersect only survives the thing that is shared, difference only removes the shared, which means this square in the middle should be cut out. I press difference, and there we go. So you can see this would be great for creating negative space and logos. It's a wonderful way of doing that, and it makes all of it transparent. So if you do shadows or effects, you have that stuff knocked out. Two things that are great here about Boolean operations. If we have all of these combined shapes, let's look in the layers panel. First of all, we get a very accurate reflection of what our object looks like here in layers, and when we hover, they highlight, that's great. But you can also toggle open this layer, and it shows you the original squares that it was made of, or the original any path that it was made of. And that means you can go, and I'll see the combined one here. I can go and select a rectangle and edit it, and it will continue to respect the initial operation. Maybe I want to round its corners. Maybe I want to change it altogether. So it shows here what sort of method in the icon panel it was used to assemble. Well, I can select these two objects again and say Union instead, and I can apply that here. Maybe I want to take this object and make it not a part of it anymore. I can take the layer and drag it out, up and above, and here it's out. It's as if the command never happened. That means, I'm going to actually undo with Command Z, that means you can also stack these effects. So if I bring these things close together, I'll put this square inside. I'm going to wrap this and I'm going to send this over here. Sort of strange alien symbol looking thing. I'm going to select all these things and I'm going to union them. So now this is a single shape. This can be all styled. If you did a gradient on it, you would get it to go over the whole object. And with this singular shape, you can also break down and look at that. It's exactly even expanded, like we expanded it before. We could collapse this. We could change these things. We could 
make them different. You can even say, hey, I don't want this to be union. This one's going to be subtract or this one's going to be intersect. Difference. You can change all of them at any time. You can say none. This is just part of the combined shape. So Boolean operations are really powerful. 